Hi there, this is Mr. Kaufman from High Five History with a video on Procopius. Who was Procopius? Right. This video is going to help us understand uh, the historian of, or the main historian of, Justinian and the Byzantine Empire. So starting off with Procopius' background, he was a military advisor under Belisarius, who was Justinian's um, head general, uh, leading the charge of Justinian's conquest of, of Europe. He's well educated, Procopius, in Greek and Latin, and it's thought that he was also uh, educated in law. At one point, some historians believe that he was officially hired by Justinian to be a court historian, specifically to, to record the public works program that Justinian did, all the rebuilding um, that took place under Justinian's reign. At, at this point, historians consider him one of the primary sources, right, the most important source in understanding uh, the time of Justinian and the Byzantine Empire. It's thought that he lived from about 500 to 560 CE, although his exact birth and date are not totally known. In this uh, picture right here, we have Justinian in the center and Justinian's um, royal court, right, the, his most important advisors. It's thought that the man uh, probably to his left or his right might have been Belisarius. We have a religious figure. It's thought by some that it's possible that one of the people in these pictures was indeed Procopius, although no one is quite certain. So Procopius is famous for his three major bodies of work. The first one is The Wars, which is a series of eight books that documented Justinian's military campaigns um, out in Europe. And most of this is the primary first-hand accounts of what was actually happening, right? As a military advisor under Belisarius, he would have been there for a lot of these and would have had a first-hand account um, of a lot of the events that he wrote about. In total, there's eight books in these series. Now, he's also famous for writing uh, the series of books called Buildings. And in this writings, he documents really all the public works programs that Justinian implements, right? The rebuilding of Constantinople after the revolt, um, as well as some of the expansion of the empire of building new cities and, and expanding uh, the, the edges of the Byzantine Empire. Now it's thought by some that he was officially hired by Justinian to do it, um, although it's not certain. Either way, it's a very reliable and well-documented um, history that is supported by physical and other evidence. And then finally, uh, probably his most exciting or most controversial piece of, of writing is called The Secret History. And this was published after he died and is really a, a lashing out against Justinian, Theodora, Theodora and Belisarius. Um, and it's thought that he wouldn't have written this stuff um, publicly at the time because he would have gotten in trouble. Um, Right, he worked under Belisarius. He worked technically under Justinian. So these are maybe his true thoughts of how he really felt about these um, people. But again, it wasn't published until after he died. Uh, the historians see notes that the quality of writing is a little bit less so than the other two bodies of work. So it's thought that it was not finished, or at least it was not um, revised by him. A really interesting read, and again, uh, a different view of the Byzantine Empire and Justinian. So that's it from High Five History with a look at Procopius, um, a little bit about his background as well as his three major bodies of writings, wars, buildings, and the secret history.